Okay. Hello, everyone. This is Miles Hischer speaking, Director of Sales at Highview Solutions. I'm joined here by Narja Patel, Head of uh, Professional Services at Highview. Um, this is a second installment of a two-part series uh, about Google Voice for G Suite. In the first video, we uh, talk a little bit more about like what voice is at a very high level and then why some organizations are going with Google Voice over other SMB telephony solutions. In this video, we're going to dive a little bit deeper into the specific features of Google Voice for G Suite um, that you might be curious about. Uh, let's go ahead and get into it. Perfect. Great. Let me go ahead and uh, present here. Okay. So now that we've given you all an overview of what Google Voice for G Suite is and talked about why some uh, smaller companies are considering uh, using voice for their business, um, I want to dive a little bit deeper into the features available to you. Um, so first of all, um, just the option of working from multiple devices with Google Voice for G Suite. So you have one number, um, but that number does not need to be tied to a specific device. So as Narjit mentioned, you have uh, the option of integrating with a Polycom desk phone, for instance. Um, you can answer calls directly through your computer. Uh, there's also an application, uh, or you could have calls forwarded to your to, to your mobile line as well. So, so you really have a few different options for answering calls, uh, allowing you to stay in touch um, from, from anywhere. Um, as far as being in control, so users can simply forward um, your number to another number to separate uh, business and personal, um, all without all with, uh, um, without contacting an administrator, which is which is fantastic. And you'll see here that mobile application where you could decide which devices you want to ring and when. Um, own your own time. So many of you use the feature within Google Calendar where you set working hours. Very, very helpful for uh, larger organizations. Um, you could actually have this tie to Google Voice for G Suite, um, which will automatically send calls to voicemail uh, after working hours or if you have an out of office block on your calendar. Um, voice transcription. So Google leverages some of their um, Google Cloud Platform technology to provide um, uh, transcriptions of all voice messages, and those are displayed conveniently through the Google Voice for G Suite mobile application. Um, you can also have a copy of those sent to your inbox uh, as well if, if you're someone that loves receiving everything over email. Um, as far as avoiding spam calls, so we touched on this earlier, but Google's able to leverage their entire network of consumer Google Voice accounts to help fight uh, robocalls and, and spam calls, uh, which are becoming all too common these days. Um, so this should definitely help uh, prevent a lot of those uh, issues that many of us are encountering with other um, phone solutions today. Uh, and then as Narjit mentioned, Voice is integrated very, very uh, closely with um, Google Hangouts Meet. Uh, so you get some valuable context. Uh, when someone gives you a call, you could see, okay, it's not just a random number dialing or unknown. It actually show that the call is coming up from the specific meeting that you are um, yeah, being, being dialed um, from. Um, from the administration side, so here's a snapshot of the administration panel here. Um, it's now a core service, so um, under applications, you'll see uh, G Suite core apps, and then you'll see Google Voice. Um, you'll see uh, an option to manage uh, users, assign phone numbers, um, porting over numbers is incredibly easy. Uh, there's a series of reports you could run as well. There's also a very, very nice auto tendent feature that's super easy to set up as well. Um, and again, everything's managed right through the G Suite admin console that you use today. Um, one note on migration, so um, Google has built in integrated number porting, um, so that hopefully will prevent um, and a more seam or excuse me, enable a more seamless transition uh, from your current provider to Google Voice. Um, the porting number process does take a few days, and if you have any questions or have a large number of numbers you'd like to port over, um, go ahead and contact us.
Um, so now the topic of licensing and overall uh, provisioning. So Google Voice for G Suite has three packages. Uh, there's a starter edition, which is ideal for um, very, very small businesses with under 10, under 10 employees. It still actually has a lot of the primary features um, aside from um, international, so you can't do anything international with the starter edition. Uh, and it only works up to 10, uh, 10 individuals, really designed and catered to that very small business. Um, the, the best value and bang for your buck is going to be the $20 per user per month SKU. Uh, so you still don't have um, international location options, uh, but you basically have all the, all the features that you would need, plus support, uh, the ability to call um, uh, into the US from any country, unlimited SMS, voicemail transcription, plus all the G Suite integrations. Um, the next step up from that is the premier tier at $30 per user per month. This would be ideal for like, a large organization that maybe has hundreds of remote sales staff. Um, the only benefit here though, is, is you do get like the international location options and there's some additional reporting capabilities through um, uh, some Google Cloud platform products like BigQuery. Um, but most of you are gonna fall into this, this standard package. Um, you can learn more on our website, highviewsolutions.com slash Google Voice for G Suite. Um, this is also standard uh, MSRP pricing, um, but given that Google Voice came out uh, in April uh, of, uh, of 2019 here, um, there's actually quite a lot of promotions and incentives to help organizations get started. So contact us uh, and we would love to see if we could get and secure um, some aggressive discounts for your organization. So. Um, okay, um, Narjit, I think that's it from uh, uh, from from my side in regards to, to licensing. Um, I think we can go ahead and, and wrap everything up. Um, anything to add from your side? No, we'll probably go ahead and stop the recording, but we'll stay on to answer any questions anyone's got. Uh, so feel free to post them in the GoToWebinar chat, and then we can get those um, answered for you. Thank you for joining. Great, thanks everyone, and and remember contact us sales at highviewsolutions.com uh, if you have any questions. Uh, and once again, Miles Hisher and Narjit here signing off. Thanks everyone. Thanks, bye-bye.